بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه وسلم. So what we have done in grammar so far, we discussed the concept of third person, second person, first person. We discussed the two types of pronouns, the personal pronouns and the possessive pronouns. And we did this for third person, second person, first person, male, females, singulars, duals and plurals. Then we started discussing the past tense verb and we said that every the verb in Arabic language falls into two categories. Okay, so you have past tense words. Seb, it was you? Okay, so it was pa we discussed that the verb is either a past tense or a present or a future. There's only two types of verbs in Arabic language, either a past tense or present or future. And we said that you would realize that this would have different endings based on the doer of the verb. Right? So all these end part tell you who the doer of the verb is. Then we discuss the use of passive verbs and its importance in the Quran and the language and how it gives you different types of benefits such as emphasizing the person who is receiving the action making the context last right because then it could be many doers doing the same thing or for respect to the doer if you do not mention the doer so today we will look at how a present or a future tense words would look like in Arabic. Same thing if you are starting with the third person. So we said that Hua is he and who is his or him. So now the past tense of this was Fa'ala. So Fa'ala is representing the three root letters that the word is formed from. So the present tense is Yaf'alu. So you take the three root letters and then you add a Ya to it in the beginning. So this is Yaf'alu means he does or he will do. So if you take this example and you apply, apply it on a different root letter such as Kha, Lam, Kha or Khalaqa creation, the act of creation, then the past tense is khala o, like fa'ala khala o, it's past tense. Present tense is yaklaku. Okay. So that's not a good example for reason that would become clear later. So we're going to change that example. So let's take a different example, which is the ha ba, the ha ba, which means to go. Okay. So the pr the present tense of that would be yad habu, yad habu, yaf alu, yad habu, meaning he goes or he will go. And if you want to do it for duals, then you just do it like this, and you add a alif and a nun, so it becomes yaf. Alani. Yaf Alani means these two male, they will do something or they are doing something. So now for Dhahaba it would be Yaf Habani. Yaf Habani. Okay. This is your plural. So this would be Yaf Aluna or Yaf Habuna. They do or they will do or they go or they will go. Okay, for females, right? Kia is she, Puma is two she's, Hunna okay. is they female, and Ha is her or her, and Puma is for two females, and Hunna is for them. Okay, so Tafalu, 
she does or she will do. Thahaba would be Tadhabu. Tadhabu. So you see, Yafalu, Tafalu. So only difference is Ya and Ta. Okay, similarly, Tafalani instead of Yafalani. So when you're reading in the Arabic, you would realize that what it is beginning with and how it is ending. So Alif Nun ending is showing you dual, Wow Nun ending is showing you plural, and No ending is showing you single. Okay, and then the last one is Yaf Alna they meaning females do something or they will do something. So in our example of Zahaba, it would be Yad Hab. Very good. Now the second person. So, remember it was yaf'alu before, now it becomes taf'alu. Becomes taf'alu means you do or you will do. Now this is same as this. But usually the context will be very clear that are you talking about a second person or are you talking about a third person female. But the, the, it would appear as same. Okay, so taf'alu or tarhabu. Tarhabu. And Taf'alani, now this is same, right? Taf'alani, Taf'alani, same. This is different though, right? So Taf'aluna, compare this to Yaf'alu. They do something or they will do something. And if it starts with a Ta, it is. Right? For our purpose, we are, because we are using this to study Quran, to do Tadabur, to do reflection upon Quran, it's easier. Because we would see it and we then we just have to do the Arabic to English. But if you do it have to do it from English to Arabic, it takes more practice and more training. Right? Because then you have to convert your English thoughts to Arabic thoughts. But if you have, you have the text, then you have to just realize it's second person, it's first person or third person and singular plural or two. And the context also helps you in realizing that. Now for second person females, it's tough alina. So instead of wow noon, it is Yanu and Alif Nun stays the same and at the end is Taf Alna. So instead of Wow Nun for males, you just have singular Nun. Something to sit down and look at so that you realize that okay, these are the only differences. And then the last one is your first person Af Alu, I do. Adhabu, I go or I will go, and Nafadu, we do something or we will do something. And for Dhahaba, this would be Nafadu. Straightforward. So last time we skipped something, and which was passive form for present tense. Let's do some quick examples. See, so you look, let's say you're looking at this word Taj Alna, right? So you, you identify the root letters, Jim, Ain, La. Then you say, okay, this is beginning with second person or the females, and then it's ending with a noon. So we know that if something is ending with a single noon, then it has to be something female, right? Because the males would end with a wow noon. So definitely it's something with the female, and this star then tells us that this is female gender. And second person, so it becomes you make or you will make. Okay? And then this Tash Robani, so the Alif Noon ending tells you, okay, it's talking about two person. Right? And this Thai is telling it is the second person, the Tash Robani, meaning that male gender dual, you two drink, or female gender, you two drink, because it's the same form, regardless of it's male or female. So it's straightforward. And then Taj Alani, Taj Alani, same thing, exact same patterns. La Abudu, we worship because there's no nothing at the end, and you have a noon beginning, so it's straightforward as we. Yet Luna, one for plural, Ya for third person, and then you have the root for Tilawa to recite. Tat Luna, you recite. Yet Luna, they recite. And so on and so forth.
Okay, so this is the uh, passive for present tense, right? So yes, Shabu is he drinks. So to make it passive would be yush robu. Yush robu. So you just change the fatha to a bomba. And yan saruna would be yun saruna. Right? Tas alu would be tus alu. Okay, so it's again simple. And again, with us, it's even easier because if you're reading a verse in Quran and you start looking at the verb and you start seeing who did the action and who, who the action is being done on, so you still all, you have this additional hint to tell you if it would be active or passive because you have the notion of context as well. Right, so yafqahuna from fiqh. Right, so fiqh is understanding. Yafqahuna, they understand. And let's see if they have given. Okay, so yus alna, they will be asked. They will be asked. The women will be asked. Why women? Because of a single noun without a wow. And yuftahu is for it will be open. It is open or it will be open. Similarly, there are other examples. Sorry, the, yes. The starting with the Dhamma is passive form. Because you saw that in the chart, it was always Fatha. Right, so if you look at this chart, so the, the, the addition was Yaf, 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 Taf, Taf, Yaf, Taf, 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 right, and then Af and Naf. Right, and then you might have different forms that inshallah we'll see later on. That would have slight differences, but this is how it would be in general. So with this, we covered the present tense as well. Something that we keep on practicing, but now this is something that you have it as a chart with you, so it's something you can refer back to and improve your understanding.